Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about similar right triangles. So what does our right triangle look like when we can have similar right triangles? Let's read here on the screen. It says, if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a right triangle, then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and to each other. So let's review what this word altitude means. Altitude is our segment right here, CD, which is going to be a perpendicular segment. So that's where this right angle box comes into play and it's gonna go through our one of our vertices. So in this case, it's vertice C. And so our altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of our large triangle. And we have similar right triangles that are formed. So over here to the right, we see our three triangles and three similarity statements, which basically is just telling us each of these three triangles, these three right triangles are similar to one another. So if we kind of highlight each one of these triangles here, we can, we can see this relationship. So our first one says triangle CBD, so CBD, that triangle right there, is similar to triangle ABC, so our large triangle ABC, okay? Then we have triangle ACD, so our triangle here on the left, and that is also similar to ABC, so our large right triangle. And lastly, we have CBD, so our small right triangle on the right, and it is similar to ACD, so our right triangle on the left. So all these triangles are similar, and so what this allows us to do is solve some problems where we have missing side links or maybe the missing altitude of a triangle. So here we go. Um, example number one, we have our X that we are trying to solve is for our altitude. So we have to the left, right, The if we're looking at this big triangle, um, triangle EGF, we have uh, one of its legs is three units, the bottom leg is four units, and our hypotenuse is five units. So we're gonna try and set up a proportion here, or um, you know, two ratios that would be equal to each other so that we can cross multiply and simplify to figure out what X is. So the first thing we wanna notice is where X is located. So it is on our altitude, but if I think about this triangle right here, X is like the bottom leg of my triangle, okay? So if I look at my larger triangle, so let's take this part away. If I look at my larger triangle, E, G, F, my bottom leg is four units. So I'm going to say X over four is equal to, and now I'm going to look at two other measurements that we have for these two triangles. So now when we write our second ratio, we want our top number to come from the smaller triangle. So I'm gonna use three here because three is the hypotenuse of this smaller triangle EHG, right? So now I'm going to, since I use the hypotenuse there, I'm gonna use the hypotenuse from my larger triangle, which is five. And so now we've set up a proportion and we can just cross multiply and figure out our answer. So we cross multiply and we get five X, three and four is equal to 12. We divide by five and we get X is equal to 12 over five, and we could write that as a decimal. So 10 divides into five two times, and we have two left over, and two fifths would be 2.4. Okay, so we're gonna say X is equal to 2.4 right there. All right, now let's look at number two. So number two, we're still trying to find the altitude, and if we notice our altitude here is located on, if we think about this teeny tiny triangle right here, it's the longer leg of this smaller right triangle. So now if we look at, I don't know if, it's, if it'll let me erase this here, okay. All right, so now if we look at our larger right triangle right here, the longer leg would be right here and that is 12. So we're gonna say X over 12. And so now what we're gonna do is find, just like we did on the example number one, find two measures from our two triangles that we have. So for our smaller triangle, we have the hypotenuse, which is five, and the hypotenuse of our larger triangle is 13. And so now what we can do is cross multiply, and we're gonna get five times 12, which is 60, and 13 times X, which is just 13 X. So now we can divide both sides by 13, and we get X equals 60 over 13. And if we wanna type that in our calculator to simplify that as a decimal, we can do 60 divided by 13, and that gives us 4.62, okay? So we'll say approximately 4.62, okay? And so that is how you work with similar right triangles when the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of the right triangle.